possible. Possible. I hope I don't have any like non-manifold geometry here. That would be gross. Let's see. Oh, is that the top? Oh, so that's the top. Just kind of see what we're working with. All right, yeah, good. So, realistically, we're not going to be leaving this on its own. So, what we'll do is unfold, make sure, and lay out UV. Okay. All right. Uh, and so be able to just find this side. I don't want to miss some of these edges here because they they won't auto connect. Really, really want them to. You ask nicely and you put it on your Christmas list. Santa will not be able to bind that geometry for you. Okay, so that edge, that edge, that edge, that edge, that edge. To get my line. Go. Go to. Well, you know, it might as well just select that too and unfold. So let's see where does this fit. Let's see, so that all together. Oh, and I see it. Oh, interesting. So, so that, and then we will hit uh, old. Okay. Connects as well, so we will just connect all those edges. There. All right, and we'll just make sure that we're not selecting any of the. And we will unfold. Cool. Now, if we can, I don't know. Actually, let me see. So this is clearly t the top. This is clearly the bottom. So we don't actually need a lot of information there. And actually just, we'll out these UVs like that for now. Uh, they don't really need to be that high high def. So once we get more of the armor done, then we can put it in together. Yeah, so you can just kind of see. So we got most of our detail on the top, not a lot on the bottom. That's the way that you want it. And that's the way you, uh, uh, I like it. Uh, uh, uh. So we'll actually just kind of select the top and because I am tired of penetrating geometry whenever I use the curve tool. It's quite possibly the most annoying thing on planet Earth. So, uh, and by the way, this is just uh, this is just like an early. I don't want to say it's a pass because it's not a pass. So that's a little. see common selection of step snap relative oh yeah i forgot that i didn't have the uv window open so you guys can see any of that stuff i was doing but oh boy uh it was real interesting i mean people were lining up all around the block to feast their eyes so we'll just kind of we'll wrap it around this way first yeah, okay. All right, uh, and then I have this set up right here to delete all history. 
uh, just to my shelf, and you can do that by control slift and then middle mouse button. Uh, up here, I think it's edit, delete all by type, and then history, so control shift middle mouse, and you can add that to your shelf, and it's actually really, really useful. Uh, what I've added to my shelf is just stuff that I use a lot, freeze, transform, uh, center, pivot, because whenever you join two objects together, uh, the pivot will be like somewhere like over here. You gotta hit center pivot and it brings it back. Uh, I shouldn't even be talking about my shelf because I mean a lot of you guys that don't care about this stuff are gonna be like, I don't know any of this stuff and I don't care either. I just want to see you make some dope armor. So, um, we're gonna hit bend and actually turn that. Curvature. There we go. So, by the way, this was screwing me up for a while. I didn't know how this function actually worked. So, the straight line, you want it to be facing basically the, the plane where you want it to deform. So, you'll see this circle here. You can move that so it's really anywhere you want it. But, yeah. So, I like to, if I'm doing like shoulder pauldrons, I will bend it twice. So, yeah. But if I didn't make this all thick and stuff, trust me, that bottom would be absolutely coming through the top for some reason. It makes no sense to me. So clear on that. Uh, let me see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, an edge loop here. So I can do that by using this tool here. Uh, which is, I'm pretty sure, the split components, right? No, that's the multi-cut tool. So you're going to use the multi-cut tool. You'll cut in an edge loop by control shift and then hovering over this edge. Because uh, if I were to hover it over this one, it's going to think that I want it to... Uh, well, I mean, you can see. Uh, but yeah, this vertical edge, because that will control the flow in a different way. It controls the flow. Yeah, so what we'll do is we will just kind of put that out there, make it spiky, sharp edges, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, we will need to remap that, don't worry. It's like garbage, actually, so we may even just not even, you know? It's not even this or that. Okay. Uh, well, that's like... That's doable. I mean, I'm hating this geometry here, but I mean, uh, I'll worry about it later. Uh, so I may uh, later show you guys how to add holes to your armor, but it's I'll put it like this. It's it's really stupid to do so if you're doing it for uh, an in-game asset that has like a budget like Dota does. Because uh, they have like, you know, over a hundred heroes. So they have over a hundred rigged characters like this that need to be loaded at any given moment. So that's, that's a nightmare. I mean, realistically, it is a nightmare. Or it would be a nightmare. So let me see here. This is weird. It's not giving me like my. Uh... There we go. It's like I I know that there's. I have more options than this. So we'll turn off our snap. Step snap. Ay, 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 yeah, that looks like garbage. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Because you like these big spikes, but you also got to realize that this thing has to be able to bend like that without really clipping into them. Like, a little clipping is fine. I don't know why people are so, like, OCD about it. Maybe if I didn't kind of, like, deform it that way. Maybe I can actually fix that. try so
Hmm. You know what? Honestly, I'm really tempted to just scrap this whole thing. Because now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, this this does not belong here. One of these things is not like the other. Um, actually, let me see. I have a couple of Pinterest tabs open with different, like, armor ideas. So... So also, in my opinion, it's better to start with a plane than with any of these other things and then try to make that into armor. Uh, I used to try to do a sphere and then do that, but it was a nightmare. So let's just we'll split this up into five and then five. So Okay. Actually need a middle cut so maybe we'll go four and four and then if we need to add more I don't know how big of a fan I am of this song but uh it's not getting in my way I suppose So this is this is the general concept and then we'll kind of just uh rotate. Actually, let's uh I don't know. Actually, so the way that it looks like it's working is it's actually a three piece. Uh actually let me save that and then I'll just I'll import it. Uh, save that pauldron. And we will come down to front plane, view, image plane, for image. Uh, let's see here. wonder if I can actually move that over. I don't know if you guys can see my little import window here, but... uh. Trying to navigate to right folder. And uh, I may take a five minute break just in a minute so that I can get some real food inside my belly. So I don't have to eat on stream. Okay, so I have my image imported. And this is it. Eh, so tiny. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the right thing. We're just going to kind of blow that up. Awesome. All right. So with that said, when we come back, we will be uh, making this pauldron. Uh, I'll just quickly have my, my cursor on that right there. So looks like I'm actually doing something. I mean, I got a little bit done. We could actually even take this helmet into Substance Painter uh, when we get back and I could show you guys just some tips and tricks on how to get some cool metal effects there. Um, let me see. Yeah, uh, if there's anyone interested, uh, please hit me up in the comments section and we'll make a decision. 